down. Down! <laughs> Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Dudes and dudettes, we're totally going Jurassic World Dominion all out today. We first we got the Hot Wheels, we're getting hot over here. But before we do something really super fun, we gotta do some education. We gotta go Smithsonian. We're gonna do some digging, guys. We're gonna become archaeologist. Um, archaeologist. That's right. We're gonna become an Indiana Bones. We're gonna dig up some bones here. And what kind of bones? Well, let's take a look. They're not bones. They're fossils. And say that with a gleep. <laughs> See right there, it's legit, it's Smithsonian. And when you say that, you gotta have classical music playing in the background. So you know, you know, you're just part of that classic age. And it's Earth Science STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. You get all this in here. And you can see right there, you got all these like Jolly Rancher sucker, hard like candy, some sort of corn syrupy goo thing with these mosquitoes and stuff. It looks pretty cool. Butterflies and something else, maybe some leaves. Anyways, we'll have to dig it up to find out. Then down below it says, chip away to discover simulated specimens preserved in simulated amber. Oh, well, that explains it. It's not hard candy. <laughs> I won't try sucking on one. Identify different objects in simulated amber. Learn about the field of paleontology. Includes full-size colored poster. Oh, great. In case if I don't like what I see, I can always look at the poster. Then, then this is what it actually includes. One sand block containing eight simulated amber stones, one mallet, one dowel, one brush, one pair of giggles, one magnifying glass and colored poster with instructions. Woo! Okay. Hey, I'm missing Halloween. I got my Swiss Army knife, the candy carn. Kind of corny, but I like it. You know, the orange, it matches this uh, amber stuff. Can do a slice there. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's huge. Guys, that's cool. Whoa. Take a look at all those like boogs that are in there. Different kind of insects, mosquitoes, leaves. Oh, that's cool. Now I suppose that's what we're digging for. Nice. Then we're going to turn around. See, there's another side with all the instructions. Oh, it says right here about amber. She's a girl who lives down the street. No, amber is fossilized trees resin. Most of the resin of fossil amber comes from just a few families of ancient tree that leaked gallons of resin over their lifetimes. And I thought it was just going to be like maple syrup to harden. I mean, that'd be great sucking candy. This resin could trap air bubbles, dirt, plants, insects, spiders, feathers, and even small reptiles. The resin fossilizes when it is buried, heated, and compressed by sediment. It becomes hard and perfectly preserved the things trapped inside. Amber has become an important resource for paleontologists studying the ancient past. Trapped air bubbles can tell scientists about ancient atmospheres. Insects and plants are important environmental indicators and teach paleontologists about the most fundamental aspects of ancient ecosystems. Cool. Okay, so this is what it looks like we're getting. We've got the wood gnat, the mosquito, leaves, termites, feathers, crane fly, Katie's fly. I want to say caddis fly. Caddis fly. It's fly. And then metal mark butterfly. That's awesome, guys. So this is what we're gonna be doing. And oh, look at this. Okay, in this box, we got, oh, it's so sealed. All right. It's a Ziploc bag. Oh, it's gonna cut a Ziploc <laughs> bag. You just barely saw that. Hey, you see this, hey. You open up and cut this side, then like seal it on the other. Okay, got my giggles. Ooh. Give me my hammer. Adventure fun dismissed. Go play. I'll loot all this. It is a gavel, a gaggle of a gavel. I hereby sentence you to like and subscribe. Hey, you're now free <laughs> to watch us anytime. And we'll notify you, so be sure to like and subscribe. You'll get notified right in your phone. If it's smart, is it a smartphone? Then it'll like and subscribe. Oh, that's smartphone, I like that. Okay, so then we got like a little brush. Look at that little brush right there. Now, oh, and there's your like little thing to, you know, chisel away. Oh man, and look, the magnifying glass. Does it really magnify? Well, it kind of distorts. <laughs> Uh, it kind of magnifies, yeah. But you know what's even funner than that? You go outside, let it capture the light and the sunlight and just like start burning things on the ground. No, that's not what we use it for. <laughs> okay, here we go. All them bugs we just read, they're right in there. That block of brick, that brick of a block. Well, they crammed it in here. Cool. Oh, that is super cool, guys. Look at that. That's official. And I just do not want to crack this open because it looks so cool. I mean, just on the fireplace mantle. That's awesome. Plaster of Paris, that's what it is. And look, we're going to do some mine and crafting. Mostly mining. We ain't crafting anything. <laughs> First, yes, it's Smithsonian. And yes, you like and subscribe. Okay, ready to go. Oh, we got to like dust a little bit and then we chip at it. I know, you're going to get some guy out there. You, you chip first, then you dust it. Should go for Dino first. Dino here, should go for the Smithsonian. I never liked this Smithsonian. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's so disappointing. Maybe we do the edges first, right? This hammer. This hammer's being hammered. Look at all the marks on there. It's just, oh, it's not doing anything. Oh. This is so wimpy, man. Let's start where the hole's at. 
Oh, oh there we go. There's amber. Okay. Well, there's some amber stuff in there. We got chip off. Oh, okay. I guess you got to use this thing. Uh, I can't see. We need like a flashlight behind it or something, but you still have plaster on the other side. Did I really break it? I'm just trying to scrape off the back side of it and see if I can shine a little light on it. Oh, I guess that's a leaf for the centipede. I can't tell. It's so bright though. Maybe this will look cool in black light. Maybe we gotta turn it off the lights when we do it. Let's get the rest out. But this one's hardly identifiable. It's just like, what'd you find? I can't identify it. All right, we're gonna keep cracking. Oh, look, you can see right here. We got more. Ugh. Okay, so, see, I didn't break it. That's just the way it is, you know? I just, uh, I guess I'm done. Time for an upgrade. I mean, <laughs> this thing. Thing. And this thing, let's see if this really helps. Man, that's like the whole table's rocking. You know, maybe if you soaked it in water. That's loud, guys. Ugh. But I'm getting through to it. And how do you keep doing it with this little, like, thing? Okay, and there's something red in that one. That looks kind of cool. And this might be a termite. Yeah, termite's kind of red. Okay, cool. Where'd the other guy jump off to? Oh, he's right here. Guys, do you remember Treasure X? The old ones, you know, like series season one, this one. That's all it's made out of, is plaster, you know, inside to be able to get to the gold, what we hope to find is gold. Yeah, and this is still sealed and new. In case you were wondering, we got a case. We're on the case. So guys, we have the original season here. And guys, when we put this out, I don't know when, because you know, we want to put out the latest and greatest, but this one's a fun classic to go back to. We want to put this one out soon. And when we do, boy, have we got a surprise for you, the gold that we find. Mm. Like and subscribe, you don't want to miss it. Woo! Here we go. So that's what you did in Treasure X, is you put this right in the water and it'll fizz. Will this fizz at all? Oh yeah, it is. And the whole thing is just totally bubbly. Bibbly bubbly boo. What kind of caution are we making for you? <laughs> Look at that, it's just going crazy, bubbles. All right, see, I let mother nature do her thing, you know? Let the water element take over the hard rock element. Just break it down. Man, you heard that whole table shake. That was like, <laughs> how long do we let it sit for? Let's turn it over. Let's see if it's on the other side. Yeah, wherever there's a hole, it's bubbling madly. And this one feels like it's even harder than Treasure X, what they had with their plaster. And usually they say for 30 seconds and stuff and it really soften, but I mean, this is huge. Ah, that's not even soft yet. We may have to come back in like an hour. A few hours later. Okay, we actually were able to get these to look really shiny and nice. It all sloughed off of it, just easy to just wipe it away. That clay, that plaster. So that looks cool. We'll get a closer look at that. But before we do that, let's get the rest. And then this one has stopped bubbling. And when I started chipping at it, it actually inside, you see how that's dry? It's a lighter color and this is dark. When I started chipping at it, uh, a piece fell off and it was darker. So now it should be able to break apart a little bit easier than before. We'll go ahead and try it. Oh yeah, it goes in a lot smoother. Okay, break. <laughs> it's going in a lot easier. Oh, see? And then see how it's darker? So the water went through and just softened it up. Yeah, take it from the Treasure X Pearls. We know how to mine for things. Let the water do all the work. Water works. Oh, yeah, it's just so much easier. Of course, I don't know if there's like something in these. I assume there isn't. They're probably, it's all centered here. There's one. We'll actually put that in the water, okay, guys? Okay, there's, so there's a total of eight. So we got, you know, three right there. I miss anything? There's probably something in there, but we'll keep moving. No! Oh man, I was looking at things flying and I missed and I hit my thumb. Oh, that looks pretty. So we got four. Oh, there's five. And you can see the little bugs in there. Well, I'm kind of smearing it. And then there's six right here. Well, this one's a big one, I think. Okay, oh, that's a noggin. Man, if that was gold. <laughs> wow, that'd be so awesome. Is that seven? Okay, I think the last one's right here, maybe. Man, can you imagine if you're just chipping at this thing? This thing would have been like just a nub, <laughs> you know, trying to get this out of this rock and dust flying everywhere. Uh, at least with it watered down. Oh, that one's cool. You can actually see that. Okay, I'll try not to smudge that, but you can actually see the butterfly on that one. That one's pretty cool. So that should be eight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I just go get my education. Ah, 
Aha! Camera mom doubted me. Okay, I can't really see it because it's muddy, but let's go ahead and soak these, and then we'll be right back. Mom. She went down to get her bowl of water. That is, you know what? Cleaner, clearer. Oh, and warm. Yeah, baby. Taking a hot tub right now. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we cleaned this up and we think they look pretty good. Well, as near as you can tell, without the magnifying glass. But here's the first one. And I think that's going to be a termite. I don't know if camera mom could get a good angle on that. We'll try to do a close up. And then on the back, you see that? Okay, you can see something in there, but you know, that's what the magnifying glass is for. So you can really zoom in on it. Now let's go next to our, this one looks like a wood gnat. I mean, that wood gnat is very bright red. And I think that's a mosquito, but mosquito is gonna look brown. So this one's a bright red, so that's a wood gnat. So it looks better on that side. And there's the mosquito. You probably see it better on this side than the other side. It just looks cool looking at it from the other angle, just because the amber, the amber itself looks nice. So here it is from the other angle. I mean, you really can't see it, but the mosquito there, back to where you can actually see it now. <laughs> so the mosquito looks pretty cool, you know? It sucks blood, blah, blah, blah. Hang around for Halloween, like, and subscribe, guys. We're just gonna do a lot of things that suck. <laughs> Oh, we do. We like to celebrate all the holidays. You know, there's an Adventure Fun Day coming up. Yeah, it's where everybody in the world can like and subscribe. Really? <laughs> Join on. Get on board. We love you guys. Thanks for liking, subscribing. This next one, well, this one's the crane fly. It kind of almost looks exactly like it does in the picture. So he's got like going up like that Batman thing where he's just flying up. Pretty small though. Man, that's cool. Who's next? Oh, okay. We'll just go with something. We'll just go with a feather. Really, it's hard to see that in there. Okay, it's just, you can barely see something just kind of like white in there, but it's supposed to be a feather. Okay, and then who's this guy? Okay, this one's, okay, there it is, caddis fly. It's the close relatives of moths and butterflies. Cool, and then the, uh, oh, let's do this one. We're going green here, it's the leaves. Sometimes resin that trapped insects would also trap leaves of the tree that the resin came from. So guys, tell me, put in the comments if you really think this is from the Jurassic period. The amber is, somebody's in there late at night in the museum, just the Smithsonian, just chipping all this way and selling it. <laughs> but that's pretty awesome. And here we go. There's our, well, you can't see on this side, the butterfly. I mean, just too rocky and bumpy, but on this side, the back side, they give you a it's flatter. You can see it. It's the metal mark. I like to say metal arc. He's just the guy in the globe trotter, Scooby-Doo, you know, <laughs> metal arc. Metal mark butterfly. Metal marks are a type of butterfly that have small metallic looking spots on their wings. Uh, yes. <laughs> There you go, guys. Looks cool. Which one's your favorite? I'm going for the metal mark. <laughs> it just sounds cool, the butterfly. Nice. Next, we got our... Hi! Uh, introduce my hot wheel because he's so hot. Like and subscribe. I'll be back. <laughs> you can't do something hot without James Brown, you know. And so there you go. You got the Hot Wheels monster truck. We got a total of five there. And what are the five that we're looking at? Well, it says on the back. So you got Indominus Rex, Indoraptor, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptor, Bleh, and Triceratops. If they had the Gigantosaurus, they couldn't fit it in the box. That's why you don't have it. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, which side? Tape? No tape. Oh, they really sealed it hermetically. I don't know. Oh, this is where you get your fingers in there and it might like cut you. Oh man, they really did a good job. This is the hardest unboxing. I'm gonna have to use a knife. Uh, it's really glued. I mean, what kind of glue do they use? They used a glue gun. <laughs> That's like cheating. You can't do that. I mean, first they started doing like zip ties, which was annoying, but then we had our like wire cutters and now they're using a hot glue gun. <laughs> I had to glue the door shut to Mattel and let them figure out how to get to work. <laughs> that was not frustration-free packaging. Okay, there we go. Okay, Indominus Rex. Wow, did it, it comes out pretty easy. It's wobbly-like. That's cool. Look at that. You can actually wobble it back and forth and turn this way or that way. Let's do a rolly, rolly, rolly. <laughs> I'm new to Hot Wheels, but there's the top. <laughs> That's a cool looking picture. And then the sides. On this side, you have the Indominus Rex, which is opening its mouth a little. And then on this side, it's completely devouring the logo, the T-Rex. Isn't that cool? Hey, look at the hood. We're in the hood. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. That's awesome. That's a cool Hot Wheels van, Indominus Rex. Nice. Who's the tops? It's our Triceratops. Okay, here we go. Well, it says Jurassic World on there, but the logo on here says it's the Dominion. Why do they don't put like Jurassic World Dominion on the truck here? Maybe they're just respinning it. So did I get something that's official, legit? <laughs> no, maybe not, but it still looks super cool, guys. Okay, there's Triceratops on that side. 
And there you go on this side. So you can see the picture on it, which makes it cool. So oh, it's just wobbly, it's just, it's awesome. And these just spin back and forth, monster truck. Okay, we're gonna have a race. Dominus Rex versus Triceratops, who do you think will win? Uh, and Dominus Rex barely, Triceratops, you know, she had a horn, it was a little bit too heavy there, it just went off. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Very, very spinny. Uh, let's do our Velociraptor Bleh. Well, that would be the blue car. Well, it only makes sense. Velociraptor Bleh. So, you know, Jurassic World, Jurassic Logo. And then, you know, what's different is because they have a Jurassic Logo here, and the Indominus Rex is the only one that's on the hood. And then for the side, you can barely see blue on the sides. Okay, look, you can barely see blue right there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Velociraptor, she's, you know, they didn't really like give her full coverage on the car. And it's just the same on the other side. You barely see it too, okay? And then the, like I said, the top, okay. And the next one we will do an Indoraptor. Oh, look at that. That's a hog, man. That thing will just like snorting down the road. I don't know much about cars, but that's like a V4 engine. You know, watch somebody's just yelling and screaming at the screen. V4, man, no, V8, it's a where we are. And they're just spouting off all their stuff that they know about cars that I know. <laughs> but this is still cool. So you can see right there, they give you more of a picture for the um, Indoraptor, which is nice. And then the mouth open on the side. And it's cool because they have the, like the yellow, it looks like the Dukes of Hazard car. I mean, it totally does. <laughs> they did a remake of Dukes of Hazard and called it the uh, Indoraptor. And then the last but not least is we got our T-Rex. Oh, that one's cool. Okay, so wait a second. Black wheels, green hubs, orange hubs, red hubs. This one's the coolest of them all. I mean, look, they actually decorated it down there with a shinny rim here on the outside of, well, the rim. <laughs> That's awesome. And then there's the top. And then, oh, look, the side, you can really see T-Rex. That looks great on this side. And then on this side, he's actually, or she's actually eating the logo. It just looks like a van. It's not really a truck, a van. And that one's a racing car. And these look kind of more like trucks to me, like a flatbed, because <laughs> it really looks flat. Look at all that, guys. Which one's your favorite? My favorite is the T-Rex. That's the coolest by far. Although this is a very close second. I really like the um, Indoraptor. Now onto the Fortnite challenge where I got a win in Triceratops skin. Woo, let's go. All right, another exciting adventure here. Flatten you out, come here, clown. Pogo girl. No, oh, that dude's just a statue. <laughs> Nobody pays attention to me. Oh, I guarantee you will once the game begins. Oh, I guarantee it. All right, going to my favorite spot. Jump. Now, let's see if I can just land right there by... Uh, I try to time it just right so I waste as little time getting down as fast as possible just in case somebody else boogies in there. And by the judge of it, there may be one, which, man, makes the whole part of this area the map. Mine, I tell you, it's all mine. <laughs> okay, there's my landing spot right there. Ah, oh, pretty cool. Okay, no invisible chest or hidden one, and ah, just bullets, man. Okay, well, slurp and burp, at least I can shield up. I gotta find a gun fast. Uh, okay, tire's fine. Maybe I can get a quick getaway by uh, arming the tuck here with some big tires. I don't see anybody sort of hurrying. Okay, anybody there? No, let's see if I can get a gun up here real quick. Something, anything. Oh, uh, revolver. Okay, it's not my favorite. Two revolvers, better than one. I don't see anybody coming. Okay, back to the house. Oh, in which my wondering eyes should appear, but two tiny, tiny footprints. Okay. Oh, man. You trying to pickaxe me? All right, I ain't hanging around. Tell you, I just not confident with that pistol. And she's not even coming at me. I wonder if it's just a bot. Oh, okay, she's still breaking the walls. Oh, somebody else is coming to join the fight. I don't know if these guys are computer-generated Fortnite bots or they're legit. Ooh, okay, that went fast. Okay, did the cowboy girl survive? The vampire hunter. She just keeps running around the house for whatever reason. I don't know. I, I pretty much pillaged the place. There can't be anything else there. Oh, now she's healing. Huh. She must have heard me. Oh, there she goes. 
No, I guess she doesn't even care. Like I say, I just don't think this person is legit, but we'll soon find out. Yeah, she's legit. She died. <laughs> That's kind of like the back in Salem Witch Trials. If you're a witch, you'll float to the top. If you drowned, you weren't a witch. Ah, uh, she drowned, she died. Okay, she wasn't a witch. Oh, well. <laughs> the logic back in those days astound me. And even logic today of some of the things they do. Star Wars Stormtrooper Blaster. Woo! It's thick as pea soup around here. Can't see anything. Man, with this, you ought to be able to heal up just by breathing in the air. Oh, this pea soup's great. <laughs> Oh, nice. A blue MK. And maybe we'll go for the bounty, the quicker eliminator. I need some hip. Oh, is that stone dude? He didn't move a muscle. Oh, four people left. How time flies. <laughs> How bullets fly. Okay, three people left. That was a quick limb. Oh, I gotta hurry. Go, 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 go. Oh, the bounty eliminated. Okay, 1v2. They're at each other. I gotta hurry. I got a third party. Go, go, go. <laughs> go, go slide. Where are you? Oh, up on the hill. Oh, he's got the higher ground. Should be able to win, but... Where's he going? Oh. Okay, my shooting. Oh, man. I gotta find... Another hiding spot. With that kind of shooting, he can just pick me off easily. I assume he's a better shot than me. Plus the other dude's somewhere. Third party me, I don't want that to happen. Oh, there he goes. Oh, okay, that's it. Is this a fake shoot? No, that's real, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, I wasn't there in time. And it's the dude with the crown. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Switch over. Oh, that was so close, guys. Woo. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We got more on the way. Woo. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.